the crypto industry has a long history of being driven by the market in Asia. And so it's unwise to ignore or misunderstand that market, first of all. It's also important to understand all the users that will be using Chainlink and building smart contracts. So that's one of the very basic reasons why I think every, every good project should understand and have a presence in Asia, um, specifically Singapore, Hong Kong, and, and, and a few other places. The second reason is that in working on Chainlink, we see a lot of teams um, building things. And I've seen a marked uh, improvement and big change in the quality of the applications from Asia. So a few years ago, what I would see from applications in Asia would be a lot of straight copying. Straight copying of just some existing protocol, straight forking, sometimes without attribution. And, and that's a lot of what I would see. Now I see some of the best protocols in our industry being built by teams in Asia. And so once again, it is, it is unwise to ignore that. It is, much, it is very important to understand your users and the people that gain value from the system and technology you're building. I find that's extremely valuable. And so you have to go where those people are and you have to understand them and the dynamics and the technical requirements and everything that's driving them to build things in the way they're building those things so that you can build things for them in a way that meets their requirements. And in many cases, ideally, even foresees their requirements. So because there's so much going on in Asia from the point of view of building, that's another good reason. And then the third good reason is that there is a huge amount of capital in Asia. And that capital, I think, will flow into the blockchain industry at possibly a faster rate than the capital in Western economies. So that's a real possibility that's partly decided by politics and a few other things that obviously we don't control. But there is a possibility that the capital in Asia will flow into the blockchain industry, into the tokenized format, into real world asset tokens, into all of these different digital currency, digital asset things at a faster rate than in other parts of the world. And so it's important to have a presence there. It's important to build things with people there. And it's important to be part of the ecosystem there because really the, the blockchain world is a global ecosystem. It's not a regional ecosystem. It's a completely and inherently global system. And so that means if you're going to make a standard for how blockchains work between each other using CCIP, how blockchains consume data from data feeds, how proof of reserve underpins all real world assets, how automation and fair sequencing properly formats transactions to avoid manipulation. If you're gonna do all those things, you're gonna to need to do it for all the places doing those things if you're in a global kind of industry, which the blockchain is. So I think it was great going to Asia. I was in Singapore, Hong Kong, Seoul, and then Singapore again. I think I'm gonna be spending more time there. And I, I think I've, I've met a lot of very impressive people who are moving things forward. They're at the cutting edge and they're building things that are generating a lot of advanced features that require oracles and that we're very happy to help them build.